quarter, first possession for BYU, and Zach, who's run for as many touchdowns as any quarterback in the country, takes it in from 15 yards out. It's seven to nothing. They get the ball back. They come marching with a little trickery here, Blaine. Uh, we thought that if if they could get up on UCF, it would be big time, and they get up in a hurry. 14-0, the reverse pass to Rex, and that. Underrated how tough that throw is right there. That thing was a rope. Here they come again. Third possession. They scored touchdowns on five of their first six. And Zach skips into the end zone. It's 21 zip. Second quarter. Central Florida David finds some success running the football. Yeah, and Kalei alluded to it right there in his postgame press conference that uh, in his interview with us that the guys started to get a little gas there in that first half because they played 50 plays, which you always played only 50 plays in some of the games throughout the season. So definitely you saw the fatigue there come into play. Middle wide open for Rex, a 27-yard touchdown. And then how about this one? First the throw, and then the catch from Lapini Katoa. It was a phenomenal catch. Look at him stretch out and get his arms under this thing. <laughs> yeah, this is the Sports Center play of the day. Four receptions for 90 yards. Katoa averaged 22.5 yards a reception. How about this play just a few minutes later? And Neil Powell on the money for the touchdown. This throw, look, look at how tight that ball is, and it's in the only spot it can be to be a completion. And that's a, that's a, a throw that GMs are going, whoa, yeah, yeah, we want to draft that guy. Third quarter, BYU gets their first possession of the second half. Algier goes 39 yards to seal the Y factor. Congratulations, <laughs> David. But he was running free all night. Yeah, 9.1 yards an average for carry, and that just goes to show you well, with this BYU, when you can pass the ball the way Zach can, then it opens up the running game, and Algier was the uh, benefactor of that one. Gunnar Romney running one in. It's 49 to 10, and uh, this one is all but over. Central Florida, again, we mentioned they average 44 points a game. They got a quarterback who leads the country in passing coming into this game. They get a touchdown strike there, and then this is a great pass and a great catch, but this would be it in a 49 23 route for BYU. And that was a fourth down play. BYU is just one foot away from getting off the field. And I love this play right here. The, the, the victory formation, Zach Wilson at the helm, and then Kalani. Finally, the whole season comes right here to a head, goes out there and celebrates. And man, you can see how the smiles on all those guys' faces as they're walking off the field. Just a, basically almost a perfect season. 11 and 1, one yard side of a perfect season. We'll be looking at these around. numbers, Blaine, for many bowl seasons to come. Yeah, 655 yards of total offense is the best performance by a BYU team in a bowl game ever. 441 passing for Wilson. 425 of those. Remember, Neil Powell completed a pass to who else? Zach Wilson right. was, uh, was the receiver on the other end of that one. And 200 yards, if you have 400 yards plus passing and 200 yards plus rushing, you, you're pretty much going to win, don't you think?